I just try to make good content, man. Sometimes it gets made for you and you don't even have to do anything. rainy in Louisiana today. I got up early, went to a garage sale with my wife. It's pretty gloomy around here. There's um, not much to do. I hurt my back yesterday. I welded a bumper onto a van for my dad. Not a bumper, a receiver. It was a receiver hitch for towing a trailer. So I, mean, I guess I tweaked something in my back. It's got me crippled over like a 40 year old man or something. I'm dealing with that crap. So it was ibuprofen and pancakes for breakfast this morning. I think I'm gonna go up to the library and edit a video. I've got some old footage that just flights that kind of get piled up that I recorded but didn't delete and I've still got them on the hard drive so I may just edit some of that together some stuff from when it was still cold and winter time we're doing like a pulp fiction thing here on my channel kind of going back in time and doing some retro flights and I don't know if there's anything good on there or not I, they all sort of bleed together after a while I'm gonna go work on that so here you go So let me give you just a little bit of background on what happens here. I'm sitting in the library talking to my friends and my kids and a lady barges in there screaming, help me, help me, he's chasing me. Somebody call the police. And so immediately I pick up the phone and I go down to the video section and I push record. Watch this. Call the police, uh, call the police chief. She the crap out of me. Uh, call them on one. And he's like on a phone and everything. And he's don't worry about it. He's from there. I pulled over because I wanted him to pass. Well, go ahead and call me. I'm not going out there. Not when, uh -uh. Not when he's been following me. It's been the past few minutes. Let's go video this guy, huh? I pulled over to let him go around me because he's following me. So I thought maybe, you know, whatever. And he freaking just, I have a New York plate. Big deal. Is that why you were following me? And this was the only place that I could find him. Now, what it turned out to be was actually a friend of ours, Curtis. He's a, a local plumber's assistant. He, he actually fixed a pipe here at my house a couple of weeks ago. Was it a Saturday? Yeah, he came out on a Saturday to help fix some stuff at my house. So, by all accounts, a good dude. I, I think what happened was the lady pulled in his driveway, and he thought it was another lady that he was supposed to follow somewhere. So... <laughs> So he followed the lady, <laughs> but it was the wrong lady. So, man, what a stir that caused. Found this way. Dude, they followed me all the way around. We don't follow people like that. Period. Yeah, you better get out of here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm trying to pulled over on the side of the road in front of my house. Isn't that Tebow's guy? That's what I thought. Yeah. Hey, he fixed my pipe at my house the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess uh I guess he thought she needed some plumbing. Is it the plumbing now? Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of fun. We don't get this kind of entertainment usually. I just want to video it. Is that wrong? <laughs> What you think about it, Jasmine? I think it's funny. Yeah. Ian? It's funny. Hell, yeah, the entertainment. I thought it was just going to be a gloomy, a gloomy, rainy day. But instead, we had some... It sounded like it could have been serious for a moment, but then I saw who it was. I think it was just a, just a paranoia type thing. Some people have that. Some people get paranoid. Oh, I usually am the only one videoing. I just try to make good content, man. 
sometimes it gets made for you and you don't even have to do anything. Usually just got my head in the computer and my earbuds in. I try not to pay attention. She comes in screaming. I'm like, and then I rode my unicycle up here one time. That caused quite a stir. Hey, Wendy. <laughs> Bye, y'all. From the public library in Spring Hill, Louisiana. Much love. Kyle out. What's up there, y'all? Well, I think I got my motor fixed. This is going to be a test flight, and we're going to see what's going on with it. Winds are kind of gentle out of the north, just in between forward and reverse conditions. I'm not sure which kind of launch I'm going to do yet. Everything's kind of dissipating. Got about an hour left. Just going to go check it out, man. I don't even know what the purpose of this flight is. Yes, I do. It's always just to just to be safe and have fun. It's the purpose of every flight. So I'm going to go try to do it right. Wasn't feeling so well today. Just didn't feel 100%. Everybody's got their good and bad days i guess got my propeller repaired i just ran it for a few minutes in the yard made sure everything was together woody told me to check for a crack in my head here he thought that the symptoms were akin to uh, a crack crankcase on this nitro but i don't think that that's my issue oh you know what before i unclamp this thing i'm gonna run it up right here oh hell i'm getting blowed up let's see what's going on on my phone here getting text to text text hey i speak of the devil there's woody let's see what he's saying motor out no bummer fuck it woody had a motor out that sucks <laughs> How coincidental though, just talking about him, was just vlogging about you. All right, I wonder, am I even recording? It's always funny. Yeah, I sure am. Clear, got it primed. Let's see if she cranks up on the first try. All right, we're at 67 degrees Fahrenheit. All my tuning should be good. All right, clear it. Uh-oh. <laughs> clear it wonder what's up i might not have primed it enough so i give it a few seconds try it one more time maybe I should take the wing out that would for sure make it not want to fire maybe i do have a damn cracked head but yeah let me take the wing out first oh we got some uh unequal trim settings here let me level those out yep <laughs> That made it crank up. Da -da, da -da. Yeah, the idle was a little high. Sorry, right. I know how to fix that. Idle's crazy high. Let me let me tone it down a notch. I'm eventually gonna get this thing dialed in. I swear I am. Let's do a little pre-flight on it. I already checked most of the back end stuff. You know, don't get complacent in your uh, pre-flights. You know, these things save lives. It's a proven fact. And if you get interrupted, start over. Do it again. Don't be scared. It's okay. I think everything's kosher here. Got enough fuel to get me through the rest of the day. Got everything I need. Maybe. Oh, shit. Carabiner failure. Nah, just kidding. Buckle failure, though. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Put that there. Attach that there. Oh, it looks like it's dying down. Clear it. Oh yeah, we're getting ready for a forward launch. Butter skies, are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Maybe I can clear the yard. Here we go. Yeah, boy, she's purring like a kid, man. They need it. Let's go back to the internet here. Yep, there's one. Get out of here, dear. Let's see what the ground looks like out here. We're going to be doing some towing operations. I want to make sure that everything is safe. This field out here is a fantastic thermal generator. Everything kind of peaks up at the top of the hill. You look at the terraces and see where the hilltop is. Everything wants to ride up to that. Cruising through the ditches by the bayou. What better to do on a Thursday evening? Not a lot of water, though. Better give me some gas. Altitude is your safety. Because if the motor dies, you want to be able to make it to the other side. Oh, butter air, man. Butter air. Cruising low and slow. See what it's all about, y'all. Those horses are feeling froggy. It looks like froggy horses. It's a pretty field. A lot of texture. Makes it awesome to fly through when the wind is almost dead. Down low. And come back up. Down the hill. Oh, that smell. Oh, it's like some honey suckers. Oh, I love that. Down here, get some more of that. <sighs> Man, it smells majestic. Let's see if I can make it from here. What do you think? <laughs> Good enough. What's my wing going to do? They're going to fall right back on my head. <laughs>
Ah, oh, shit, I stepped through the lines. That's no good. Mm -mm -mm. I may have tangled my glider lines just now. Caught myself stepping through some lines. Once you do it, it's like, oh, what did I do? Did I screw up bad? Nah, it's just the lower cascades, if anything, so. Worst case, I'll just have a quick little untangle. The good news is even though I was not feeling 100% when I took off, I feel really good now. Like these paramotors are just, must be like my hit a crack or something. I, I just get off on it, man. I'll be getting high when I fly them. I guess literally and figuratively, it does something to me, man. It makes me feel better. It, it changes something in me to go fly one of these things. I don't know, probably to fly anything, but paramotor's so easy, that just makes it even better. If you find yourself in a tangled line situation, the first thing you need to do is lay out the glider as close as you can to straight on his back. Sometimes you can't if they're tangled bad enough, but just get all the lines basically as separated as you can. That'll give you a good visual sense of what's going on. In this case, it just took a few seconds and then I stretched it out again and did a confirmation to make sure that all the lines were clear. And that was it, man. Easy peasy. So, yeah, I had my risers just from the wing kind of falling back on me when I landed. I had the risers through each other and then one of them was through itself. I don't know, it just happens like that sometimes. It took me about 30 seconds to get it undone. So there you go. I've seen worse, but as long as it's not through those upper cascades, that's when it introduces a whole new level of difficulty. Everything's good. I'm ready to either launch it or put it away, but I think I shall put it away since I got what I needed from the evening. I think I'm gonna go kick my feet up. It's been a long day. Oh, mosquitoes, that's unusual. I'm glad y'all are enjoying these videos. I sure enjoy making them. Much love, Kyle out. I'm really having fun with the drone. Oh my gosh. I've, I've been flying this thing all over, getting some cool shots that just, you really don't have any other way to get, you know, even with the paramotor, you can't hover and get a shot. It'll chase people in the yard for you. You could just put a little box around them and it does it. But what I found really useful in relation to paramotoring is fog layers. Check this out. You can set your GPS to home, and I climbed up above the fog the other morning just to do a little investigation, see how thick it was, whether there were any gaps. In this situation, there was no way that I was going to launch through this stuff because you may not be able to get back down safely. So I just did a little exploration with the drone. When I got done, I pushed come home. Thing flew right back to me. And that's it, guys. I know this video is a little long. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure had fun making it. I hope the lady from the library makes it out of life alive. Much love, y'all. Kyle out.